In this video, we are going to see about the difference between flip-flop and latch. First, let us see what do you mean by a memory element. In our day-to-day -day life, we normally use a mobile phone, a laptop or a memory card. So, all these devices can be used to store the information and it can also retrieve the information when it is required. So, flip-flops are also memory elements which can store the data. So, in digital electronics, the memory elements are of two types. One is the latch and the other one is called flip-flop. Both these devices are used to store one bit information that is it can store either 0 or 1. It has two stable states so it is called a bistable multivibrator. So there is a small difference between latch and a flip flop in the manner in which they change their states. That is when the input changes, the output changes. The method used for changing its state is the major difference between the latch and flip-flop. This we can see in detail now. First let us see about latch. In latch, if I give some input, I will get the output. If I give zero input, Immediately the latch will give you 0 as output and if the input changes to 1, output will also changes to 1. For example, you can take an argument, if someone talks something, immediately we will respond. The latch is like that, but this is not a good behavior, we know. So, this type of condition, suppose the input is continuously changing, this may affect the output. So, this is considered to be unstable. Next, we have gated latch. So, this is uh, just an advanced version of the normal latch to overcome its drawback. Gated latch is used. So, here as the name suggests, a gate is used to control the output. That is, only if this gate is or the door is open, the input can reach the output. When the enable pin is low, the input variations in the input will not be reflected in the output. So, you see here the enable pin is connected to a pulse like this. So this latch is said to be level sensitive. That is, when the enable pin is high, whatever changes in the input is coming will be reflected in the output. Whereas, during this period, that is this uh, negative period or zero period, even if there is a variation in the input, it will not be reflected in the output. Suppose some changes takes place here. For example, here the input changes during this period. So, this will be reflected only when the enable pin is again high. So, till that the previous um, input will be coming through the output. So, only when the enable pin is high, the output will respond to the input variations. So, this latch is said to be level sensitive. That is, it is sensitive to the high level. Next, we will see about flip-flop. In flip-flop, you can see input and output is there. Apart from that, we have a clock input. This plays a major role in the operation of the flip-flop. A clock is nothing but it is a train of pulses. Earlier, we saw that in latch, the enable pin was given a train of pulses. But latch is level sensitive. That is, whenever there is a high signal, the output will respond to the variations in the input but in case of flip-flop it is uh, it will respond only to the transitions that is either uh, when the pulse this pulse changes from 0 to 1 or 1 to 0 it will respond so depending upon how it responds there are two types of flip-flop 
block positive edge triggered and negative edge triggered so if you see here this is called positive edge triggered that is whenever the clock pulse goes from 0 to 1 or it is said to be rising edge the flip flop will respond to the variations in the input so during this period other than that the rising edge the flip flop will not respond rather it waits for the next transition to sense the variations in the input this is negative edge triggered flip flop here it uh, responds to the falling edge so whenever the uh, clock signal goes from 1 to 0 the flip flop will respond to the input variations we have already seen about sequential circuit so sequential circuit there are two types synchronous circuit which is synchronized by clock signal and asynchronous circuit which do not relay on clock signals so you see this synchronous sequential circuit here the memory element which we use is a flip flop because you need a clock signal in a synchronous circuit whereas in asynchronous circuit a latch can be used because they don't have a clock signal now let us summarize about the latch first latch is used to store information uh, that is or store data 0 or 1 and they are level sensitive devices that is they will respond to the this level positive level or it can also respond to negative level we have to design it in such a way and latches form the basic building blocks for flip flops latches are used in asynchronous sequential circuit next we will recall what we have seen about flip-flop flip-flop is also used to store information zeros and ones they operate with signal transition that is it can it is called a edge triggered device that is it can be a positive edge triggered or negative edge triggered flip-flop forms the basic building block of digital circuit they are used in synchronous sequential circuit let us see the difference between latches and flip-flop the latches always operate with signal level so they are said to be pulse triggered so they are level sensitive flip-flops whereas operate on signal transitions that is said to be edge triggered so it can be positive edge triggered or negative edge triggered flip flop latches can be designed using uh, logic gates nor gate or nand gate can be used to design the latches flip flops uh, are normally designed using latches with a clock latches are typically used for temporary data, uh, data storage whereas flip flops can be used for permanent data storage latches may become unstable under certain conditions whereas flip flop have better stability and synchronization latches are used in asynchronous sequential circuit whereas um, flip flops are used in synchronous sequential circuit if you have any queries you can contact uh, through this email id or uh, mention in the comment section and if you need any other topic you can refer to in the comment section if you like the video do subscribe to read electric vehicle channel for more videos on electrical engineering the topics will be covered in a easy and a simple way to understand thank you